Hey everyone, welcome to another Audacious Devotion. We are 17 days into our month of prayer and fasting and today we're going to be praying for our Manchester campus, our central Manchester campus and um, we know that there are many, many people that are part of our church and, you know, in different locations and campuses but um, here in central Manchester, we've got some things that we really want to pray about. A uh, key scripture to help us just kind of focus our thoughts is Psalm 122. It says in verse 1, and sort of a little bit of verse 2, it says, I was glad when they said to me, let's go to church. That's the Paul Reed version. Let me read you the New Living Translation. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. And verse 2 says, and now here we are. I want us to see that scripture as a prophetic picture. A picture of what we will see in our central campus in Manchester. It's coming up to two years that we've been disrupted or since we were first disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic the effects of that pandemic I, I guess we're still yet to see fully realized in human society sometimes it feels like everything's changed there's kind of no area of life that was untouched by our collective experience and that includes the rhythm of, of people's lives, their habits, their behaviours. Some of them have been welcome, healthy changes. You know, I know for me, I started running every day during lockdown and um, it's been a positive life change for me. But uh, I guess some of the other um, habits and rhythms of life and behaviours that have been disrupted or changed due to lockdown have been not so positive. Um, one of the key building blocks in the life of a Christian is going to church, being in the house of God, with the people of God, in the presence of God and worshipping him. I'm talking about giving and serving and encouraging and challenging and just building the kingdom of God through his house. It's just like so vital in the life of a Christian, in the life of a disciple and that spiritual discipline, going to church, is one of the things that for some people has been really compromised in recent months and even years. Um, as we've emerged out of lockdown and restrictions, uh, things like fear and apathy of, of taking control of our diaries and our priorities instead of passion for God and a desire to serve him. So Psalm 122 is a psalm of ascent. That's what it's called. If you look in your Bible, you might see a little title for for this psalm saying, you know, the psalms or, the, or a psalm of ascent. And this, this is what the children of Israel would sing or maybe recite on their journey to Jerusalem to visit the temple. And you can almost hear the excitement in their words as they say, I was glad, I was Buzzing. I was so excited when someone said, when they said, it's time to go, it's time to go to church, it's time to go to the house of the God. They understood the power of prioritising his presence. And it was reflected in these epic plans that they had to make, despite the inconvenience and the discomfort and the disruption of their schedules. They picked everything up, all their stuff, their kids, their lives and they put down their projects and their plans and they cleared their calendars and they went to church. They went to the temple. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pray for a renewed passion for God's house in audacious church people. That in central Manchester, it will be a priority in people's lives above social engagements and leisure activities and home renovation projects that there will be a change of language from got to to get to. Not asking, oh, what have I got to do to sort of scrape through and do just enough to sort of get that tick in the register, but in actual fact, celebrating that we get to go to church. So here's a few things that I want us to pray about. Firstly, I want us to pray that people attend church every Sunday. 
making it a priority as families and individuals. Number two, we're going to pray for an atmosphere of faith and celebration in every service so that people will truly be able to say, I was glad when they said it's time for church. Number three, we're going to pray that people will join a team and they will serve in a way that makes each Sunday even better than it was before 2020. We're going to pray for people to come to church on Sundays hungry for God's word and desperate for a God encounter. That was the fourth thing. We're going to pray, number five, that people do encounter God in a life-changing way and that in every service, on every Sunday, we get testimonies of miracles happening in people's lives. And the last thing is that we're going to pray that people will invite their friends and their families to church and that we will see unprecedented growth across all our locations in Manchester. Psalm 122 verse 1 says, I was glad when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. And now here we are. And that is a prophetic word for us in Manchester, that that will be how people think and talk and act and live and serve and give and love and all that jazz. Listen, thanks for being a part of our month of prayer and fasting. Thank you for standing with us and praying and, and committing to go without and getting the attention of heaven in this amazing biblical way that we're doing. And also thanks for being tuned in or watching or taking some a moment, creating some space to, to be a part of this devotion today. I love you, church. Have a brilliant one. See you soon.